one tricky question I want to take. Okay, it is a tricky question. So this is your relation. Now in this relation, you tell me, is this in two enough? Okay, find the normal form. Basically, find normal form. Find in two enough or not? This question. Look at this question. Very simple. Five attributes are given to you. A, B, C, D, E. This is the relation R, and this is set of functional dependencies. And these FDs are given to you. A, B, C determining D. C, D determining A. A, D determining E. So these are the functional dependencies. Now you have to check: is it in? Is this relation in the uh, second normal form? So first you find the candidate keys. So tell me what will be the candidate keys. You can notice A, B, C, D, E. So you can notice B, C is not on the RHS. Can you notice? Can you notice B, C is not on the RHS of any FD. In these functional dependencies, B comma C are not on the RHS. So only B comma C can determine B comma C. Agree? So B comma C will be part of every candidate key. B comma C will be part of every candidate key, but they cannot determine everything. They cannot determine everything. So here, tell me, they cannot determine everything. B comma C, they cannot determine everything. So let me check A B C. Okay, what will be A B C plus? A B C will be A B C D. Okay, what will be A B C plus? That will be A B C D, and then A D can determine E. So A B C will be a candidate key. So what are the candidate keys? I can say A B C will be a candidate key. This will be a candidate key. Anything else? Do we have anything else? B C must be there. B C must be there. Okay. So yes, D also you can check. B C must be there. And now with D also you can check. So you you will get C B D. You will get C B D. And you can notice C D is determining A. Now now you can notice now you have A B C that can determine everything. So I can say that this B C D this is also candidate key. What else? What else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Okay, no, nothing else. Okay, so only this will be the candidate key. Only this is going to be the candidate key. Okay, so these two will be the candidate key. So what is the non-prime attribute? So what is non-prime attribute in this in this relation R? What is non-prime attribute? The okay, this is the non-prime attribute. E is the non-prime attribute. Okay, E is the non-prime attribute. Now, 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 now. Okay, so to check to check two NF. To check two NF or not? So to check two NF or not? Let's apply our method number one. That is very easy method. Okay, let's apply our method number one. What is method number one? What is method number one? Method number one. That is very easy. Okay, just check proper subset of candidate key. Just check proper subset of candidate key. Okay, every proper subset of candidate key you check. Every proper subset of candidate key you check. Does it determine non-prime attribute? Does it determine non-prime attribute? Just check this, yes or no. Just check this this functional dependency. Do we have this functional dependency? Okay. Do we have this? Okay. If if this exists, if this exists or not? If this exists or not? Okay. If this exists or not? So tell me, is this exist? Proper subset of candidate key. And remember, non-prime attribute is E. Correct? Yes or no? The only non-prime attribute that is E. Only non-prime attribute is E. So okay. Okay, so you check proper subset of candidate key. So tell me what are the proper subset of candidate keys? Tell me what are the proper subset of candidate keys? Okay, what are the? I can say CD is a proper subset. Can I say CD is a proper subset of candidate keys? What are the proper subset? Okay, give me one by one. What are the proper subset of candidate keys? So CD is a proper subset. So let's check CD. Let's check CD. So CD plus. What CD plus is? What what is CD plus? CD plus will be CDA, CD plus will be CDA, and AD will determine E. So can you notice? Can you notice? Can you notice? CD determines E. Can you notice? CD determines E. CD determines E. Yes or no? CD determines E. Where this is proper subset of candidate key. Where this is proper subset of candidate key. This is proper subset of candidate key, and this is what? This is the non-prime attribute. This is a non-prime attribute. This is a non-prime attribute. So finally, so so not into enough. So are not into enough. So are not into enough. Is this clear? Tell me, is this clear? So this is not into enough. Some students were giving the answer to enough, but this is not into enough. What mistake did you do? Your mistake is making this question tricky. 
I told you this question is tricky. I told you this question is tricky. Your mistake is making this question tricky. What was your mistake? Tell me what was you. this was the mistake. This was the mistake. People were checking on this. Are many students were checking on this? Yes or no? Many students were checking on this. So what is the most common mistake? Tell me most common mistake. What is the most common mistake in 2NF? In checking 2NF? What is the most common mistake? Tell me. What is the most common mistake in checking 2NF? When you only check on these FDs. When you only, 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 only check on these FDs. If you only check on these FDs. If you only check on these FDs, that is the mistake. Yes or no? Agree or not? So, is this clear? So, if you only check on these FDs, if you only check on these, you can cl clearly see, you can clearly see, if you only check on these, if you only check on these, then, then this is not a violation. If you only check on these, this is not a violation. Agree or not? This is not a violation of 2NF. This is not a violation of 2NF because this is not a proper subset of candidate key. So this is not a violation of 2NF. So what is the most common mistake in checking 2NF? What is that? So I can say most common mistake in checking 2NF. What? Okay. Most common mistake in checking 2NF. Or 3NF. Okay. The same will go for 3NF. It will not go for BCNF. In the BCNF, you can check for the given FD set. Okay. In the BCNF, you can check for the given FD set. Okay. In the BCNF. But this is the most common mistake in the 2NF. Okay. What is that? In the what, what is the most common mistake? Okay. Only checking on. Only checking. FDs. In given FD set. In given FD set. Yes or no? Only checking FDs in given FD set, not checking, not checking FDs in F closer. Yes or no? Agree or not? This is the most common mistake. So how, okay. So finally, 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 finally. Okay, so tell me how to check. How will you check now from today onwards? How will you check for 2NF? How will you check for 2NF? First, you find candidate keys. Okay, very simple. First, you find candidate keys. First, you find candidate keys. Then, you find non prime attributes. Then, you prime find non prime attributes. Then, you find non prime attributes. Then, what you do? Then for every, remember, then what to do for every proper subset of candidate key. Is this clear? Then what you do then for every proper subset of candidate key for every proper subset of candidate key. Is this clear for every, every proper subset of candidate key, this every. So for every proper subset of candidate key, okay, find its closer, find its closer. Yes or no? find its closer and see if it contains if it contains if it contains non prime attribute yes or no if it contains non prime attribute is this clear very simple right very simple so this is the idea find candidate keys then you find non prime attributes then for every proper subset of candidate key you find its closer okay you find its closer and and see if it contains if it contains non prime attribute so this is the method so anyway is this question clear this question so this is not into enough but what is method number 2 but what is method number 2 because there can be true false question what is method number 2 because there can be true false question so what is method number 2 can can candidate key Partially determine can candidate key partially determine non prime attribute. 
do we have this okay do we have this do we have this do we have this so yes we have this because you can clearly see that so you can notice this is a candidate key okay this determine e is this a partial or not tell me is this a partial dependency or not is this partial or full is this partial or full is this dependency partial or full this dependency this dependency is full or partial is this full or partial so remember this is partial this is not full why this is not full this is partial why this is partial so this is partial remember this is partial fd this is partial fd because why this is partial fd because cd can determine e so this is partial is this clear so this is partial because cd can determine e so this is not full this is partial because cd can determine e so this is partial so i can say remember this fd is partial this bcd determining e this is partial what about this is this partial is this partial is this partial is this full or partial this is full remember this is full remember this is full fd remember this is full fd this is partial fd okay so here you can clearly see that this is your prime uh, this is your candidate key and this is your non prime attribute and this is a partial fd and this is a non prime attribute and you can clearly see this is a partial fd so that is the mistake so i can say so from method number 2 i can say not into nf or not into nf so the relation is not in to nf okay very simple so i can say that this partially determines e i can say this candidate key i can say this candidate key partially determines this non prime attribute so that is the reason this relation is so relation r not in to nf not in to nf okay clear let me know very simple so remember this is the most common mistake if you check only the given fds the given fds you don't have to check you have to check for uh, basically what you have to do for every proper subset of candidate key find every proper subset of candidate key you find and then you find its closure and see if it contains the non prime attribute or not okay mm -hmm.